Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on our enticing planet called Earth, I hope you are having a peaceful day, evening, or night, wherever you're located. Once more, you see, we are within our beloved 3D application blender, one of the top five three applications on the planet earth and that's a big deal being it's open source they don't come from no one company that's massive today my lesson as you can see i have a humanoid figure a simple humanoid figure my lesson involves well let me click on the bones take it off of edit mode go back to object mode Click on my bones, as you can see, they're just simple uh, empties. So, like for me, I made a video on this already, how to make your own custom bones. But what I'm going to show you, it may, it works on the um, the standard rig bones, what you see for the collar bones. If I click on the collar bones, you see it's activated. I click off. I click on the collar bones. So, whatever I'm going to show you today, it work on those usual white rig bones that you typically see on many uh, Blender channels. For me, I just happen to like, love, love using custom rigs. I just don't feel like touching the inside of my, uh, my mesh and mess it up. Let me go to pose mode. Today, I'm going to show you something that I've never seen no one talk about before. You all know in Blender the mirror modifier, modifier. We all love that mirror modifier. But when you rigging, there's no such thing as a rig modifier. You have to copy the actual bones. When you rigging, the bones are, are, are not no mirrors. They are actually solid, you know, uh, through the objects. But as you can see from my figure, I've used custom bones, the custom bone constraint on my figure to give my rig a more, a more believable rotation as you can see. I rotate the arm up, it stops right there. It don't keep twisting around in no 360 degrees as you see most, most rigs do when they should, when, you, when they give you ideas on how to use the rig. My rigs have limitations the bones have limitations and why well, I can't move this the way I wanted to move it where we say Z see it has a limitation where it's gonna stop at it's not gonna just go around crazy looking rotate Z that back moving quotation I gotta work on that though but hey I'll work on that later I don't like the way that's moving. But as you can see, when I move it forward, it's moving the way I want to. Let me click on the head. Rotate around Y. See, it stopped. It stopped right there. I use the custom, the bone custom constraints for that. I made a video on that. You're welcome to see it. Now, my topic for the day is, hey, when I do this left side of my... When I limit the rotations of my bones on this left side, do I gotta go through all that effort for the right side? And the answer is, you know, since, since Blender is a professional through the application, it's been around for over a decade and a half. No, you don't have to copy. You don't have to copy and do the work over and over. I can copy. I can copy the rotation information from this bone. I can, and put it in on this other bone. You see right here, where my mouse set limit rotation. It has a constraint there. Let me click on this right side of my figure. Oh, I'm about to tell you, I want to get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. So I already had it set up before we begin our little lesson. Let me check this left side. It has limit rotation. Okay, this don't have no limit rotation on it. That's why I bent crazy like that, but I did have it. I'll worry about that later. 
but this one has a limit rotation. So, how can I copy limit rotation information to these other bones? I've never seen a video on that before. Have you? But I know how to do it. First, you click on the other bone or the, or the custom bone that don't have no rotation on it. It has none. Then I hit my shift key. Then I click on the bone that I want rotation information I want to copy. Then I go up here to pose. Then you choose constraints. Then I go to copy, copy constraints to selected bones. There. Now let me click on it. Now it has the rotation information. Let me rotate it now. Rotate X. It stopped. Let me rotate it up. Let me take it up. Oops. Rotate X. It stopped right there. Right there. Let me come down to this arm. I click on the empty constraint bone. I go to the other bone that has a constraint on it. Once more, you go to pose. You go to, uh, where is that constraints at? Constraints, copy, constraints, selected bones. And there, it's copied. Let me check it out. Rotate X. Okay, see, so it's copied there. It has a limit. You can see the limit. It's stopping. Boop, boop. Okay. Before I go, let me try the leg. Let me see how the leg look. That has a constraint on it. And that has a too. Let me take it off. Then I'm gonna let you. Then I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna do this. Let me rotate this leg and see how it goes. Rotate X. Oops. Rotate Y. See. Shift up, bring it up so you can see it better. Rotate round Y. It's not going forward because I cannot make my knee go forward. It stopped. But I can make my knee go backwards as you can see right there. Right there. So, let me click on this bone. No information. So you click on it. And let me, let me, let me, let me see, let me rotate it before I put the constraint there. Rotate Y. There, you see, oh my God, you got, oh my God. You see how crazy it is? Oh, oh. Whenever they show us rigging, that's where they stop at. Yeah, it's good to know rigging, but I want to I give my bone some realistic rotation. Nobody ever do that much. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, Lord. So let me copy the information. I click on the, the empty constraint bone. No, inf no constraint information here. Then I click on, I hit my shift key. That's the most important thing. Hit shift. Click on the con bone that got constraint on it. Go to pose. Go to constraints. Copy bone. Now let's see. I'm click back on this bone. It has the constraint information right here. Rotate on Y. Oh, see, it's not going crazy. All I can do is go back to a certain limit. All right, see, that's it, my good people. Thank you for stopping the by to see the copy constraint information. Now you can quickly make your humanoid animal mesh have more believable movements with their limbs if you enjoy this discussion give me a thumbs up if you have any comments about other ways to copy constraints leave a comment if you'd like to join to hear other topics that i find interesting in blender as i develop but like i said before i only do blender whenever i feel like it. i don't do it every day feel free to subscribe subscribe until the next time, dear Blender family, peace.